Here we're going to show you just how durable these units are. We're going to put a bullet through one, see if it still works. 22 caliber revolver, 22 caliber hollow point shell. We've obviously got powder burn on the face, an exit hole on the back. It has broken the battery cover. Let's get a random device, see if it works. We've got a normal GPS. Plug it in. Your GPS works and it is charging. Not only that, it's still gathering power, not just running off of the battery. Next test, we're going to try a different panel. We're going to hit it with something even bigger. This time, We're going to use a 40 caliber pistol, regular full metal jacket shells. See if it can hold up. Obvious powder burn, obvious entry hole, exit hole. We've actually split the back cover clean off this time. Let's get the charger and see if it works. GPS is off. Same charger we just shot. GPS just turned on and started charging. All right. You see when you unplug it, it wants to turn it off. External power lost. Plug it back in. Regains its external power coming from the unit. Now it's obviously not waterproof anymore, but just goes to show you what these units can take and still keep working. Now for our next test, caliber shell, 74 grain projectile, hollow point, ballistic tip. Entry hole, nice clean exit wound. You can obviously see by the faceplate there's plenty of powder burn from such a close impact. Let's see if it works. Here's your Garmin, turned off. Same panel we just shot. It's on. Unplug it. Back in. You still got a good charge. New rifle. M16 A4. 223 caliber, 556 five, metric. Ballistic tip, 223 shells.
Let's see if it'll do it. Range clear. Okay. Still got a splatter pattern. Indicator light says it's still charging. We actually blew the battery off of this one. So I'm going to pry it open. Plug the battery back up. Now, same unit, same battery. Let's see if it works. I can hang on to stuff. Alright. Here's your panel. Right here. Just shot with a 223. GPS is off looks like this it still powers your devices just a minute ago we dropped one of these little babies into a bucket of water Still inside. Been underwater for about six, eight minutes. Get the water out of the ports. Just been underwater, still works. Now the only modification I can see necessary to these, I, these units is putting caps over the battery ports. That's the only thing you'll have to do if this unit gets completely submerged is knock the water out of them. External power was lost and we unplugged it. Plug it back in. Good as gold.